wanted to explain what I'm going to do here. Um, I, I separated the um, spiral coil bank from the water wall and I'm going to add a, um, a 3 8 copper tube and what um, what I'm trying to solve is before um, the steam engine had a, a sort of a habit of uh, hunting you know it would um, the water wall would fill up come up to the sensor and um, if I you know fired it just right I'd get uh, you know a pretty even um, steam but it was a little bit too dry it was kind of superheated steam um, and then once the uh, water sensor went dry it would pump in water it would head up into the spiral coil flash to steam and I'd get a, a kind of a surge all right the welds are done and um, you can see that coil is still kind of close to being a water wall but it's more um, centered so it's going to pick up some of the the radiant and the convective heat and I know it's going to prime a little bit but I think in this 150 feet of um, spiral wound coils it's going to turn to steam so we'll see um, that's the idea so next is to um, get it all hooked back up and um, get the steam engine running again Alright, I had a bad rectifier, so now the, um, the engine is running correctly and it's not, it's not stalling like it was yesterday. So we're coming right up. We're putting in about 6 amps. Mm, 20, 30 PSI, come up to 40. Engines run a lot smoother. Feed water just kicked off. my little throttle valve. I'll just turn that throttle on and this usually self starts. Now I'm running the um, exhaust up through here to create a little more draft. You don't have to. You could run that to a hot water tank and heat water. And I've been running about 45 minutes and used about a half a bucket of wood. And let's take a look at how much water we've used. Uh, about two and a half gallons. Hope you can see that. That's the kind of wood you can use, just scrap wood, little twigs, some busted up uh, two before, whatever you got. <laughs> 